What's up, everyone? So, um, I decided to do something a little new. Normally, I kind of grab a few Valentine's Day themed bath bombs, but, um, this year I kind of expanded a little bit. Um, I just bought some, the two Valentine's themed bath bombs from Lush, plus the order I got from Witch Baby Soap, that's their Valentine's Day collection. And then I think I got a few heart-shaped bath bombs or whichever, something I can come up to be Valentine's Day themed. So, um, this year for Valentine's Day, I'm going to have like six or seven bath bombs that we can uh, talk about. Um, I'm not going to go like big like Christmas or Halloween, but yeah. Um, but anywho, um, we're kicking it off right now. Um, let's get to the video. So, um, yeah. Hey there folks, um, so this is kind of a late video, it's midnight currently, um, it's actually a day that I've been off all day, and uh, I was just chilling in bed, and I was like, oh wait, I haven't checked my emails all day, went through it, and there is an email from Witch Baby Soap, you have a package delivered, and I'm like, I went outside today, I didn't see a package, so I went and checked my porch, sure enough, there was a package from Witch Baby Soap sitting there, and it's like, Ooh, okay, well, better late than never, so here we go. Package from Witch Baby Soap, it can mean only one thing. This is the stuff that I bought earlier this week for their Valentine's Day collection, a.k.a. the Elements of Love. So let's dig in, take a look-see what they have sent. So first thing first is we have the Charity Bath Bomb for this, uh, month, season, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is for the Wolf Conservation Center. So as you can see there, it's got a wolf barking at the moon. Um, this is supposed to be um, evergreen tree scented. It definitely is. Very cold smelling, I will say that. Very cold, very fresh, forestry. Really good. Set that to the side. Next thing we have, this is Dream Boat, and this is part of the Valentine's Day collection stuff. It's called The Elements of Love. It just dawned upon me right after I ordered, I went, oh yeah, they all have like the elements on them, so, you know, Dream Boat, water, huh, I get it. Uh, this one's supposed to smell like sugarcane, juicy blackberry, and dew-soaked jasmine. So, again, kind of water, sweet, moist kind of smelling, I guess. But I definitely smell the blackberry and the sugar. So it's very fruity, very sweet, though. So let's set that to the side. Next thing we have up here... This is Smoke Show, which is the uh, fire element here, as we can see. And they upgraded their packaging, I can tell. It's like thicker plastic now. But this one is supposed to be just everything hot. It is pomegranate, copal resin, gun smoke, and cloves. Very spicy smelling. Spicy, the fruit comes from the pomegranate, but like the resin, the cloves, the smoke, just gives it a very uh, hot and erotic kind of smell, if there is such a thing. <laughs> uh, next, we have Tree Hugger, which is the earth symbol here. Earth. And this one, again, going with the theme, is supposed to be strawberry matcha and honeysuckle. So this is more of the plant-smelling one. Like, yeah, I do smell, I smell the strawberry a lot. There's kind of like a floral smell to it. That's interesting. I like it. Then we have... But we got water, earth, fire, and uh, finally air. This is Mile High Club, the air bath bomb. Uh, 
air because it's mile high. Ha 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 ha. That's a good pun. Um, it's supposed to smell like rosewood, tree flowers, raw honey, and perfume. And it does have like a very light and airy smell. Like, like the perfume, it, it's almost floral, but it's like, it doesn't smell like a lot like flowers. It smells like perfume, but not flowers. But it's very airy, very light. So I like that. I like how they did all the themes this this uh, collection. Um, but it's also kind of weird that how they do their collections at Witch Baby Soap because they have, if we begin at the year, they have a Valentine's Day collection that always launches in January. Then they have a spring collection that launches in March. And then they'll have a uh, summer collection that marches usually about, or that launches usually about um, June, July. It's right at the beginning of summer there. Then their fall slash Halloween collection. It's mostly Halloween uh, themed. That'll come out in end of August, early September. Um, and like I said, it's mostly Halloween. So you kind of get into this weird thing where it's like you're buying everything in anticipation for Halloween. And uh, anything November kind of gets left out. But sometimes they do have things that they go, oh, this would be specifically more fall-themed versus Halloween-themed. And then, of course, you get uh, their Christmas slash winter collection. That's the fifth one there, so five collections of the year. And that one will usually drop uh, middle of November, like first or second week in November, maybe. Um in lieu of Christmas, but it's usually again Christmas themed, though they might have some winter uh, sort of things there, but again, they have to go with the major holidays. So you get five collections that usually come out of Witch Baby Soap, and that's a very interesting number, considering the number of seasons and holidays and all that. Um, I have one more bath bomb in here. This was the Throwback Thursday for this week when I ordered, as I try not to spill all these packing peanuts. Um, as I'm spilling all of them, holy crap, this thing is huge. This is Girl Crush. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm used to the big coffin bath bombs. This one seems like twice as big, though. <laughs> um, and this is one they've had uh, from a few Valentine's Day collections ago, so whenever they have Valentine's Day stuff, a new one, they'll use this as a Throwback Thursday item. And that's another thing I appreciate about Witch Baby Soap, is that if there is a, like, one that everyone loves, they might make, they'll usually make it a, you know, permanent addition to the collection um, of the stuff they sell year-round. Um, if, you know, it's not, if it's, like, liked a lot, but it isn't, like, the most favorite, most requested, most demanded, they'll still use it for Throwback Thursday. Like, the three or so years that I've been buying Witch Baby Soap, I can't think of, like, items that haven't been Throwback Thursday. I'm sure there are. I'm sure there's plenty of products from the collections past that haven't made it to Throwback Thursday, but, you know, they've got a backlog of, since I want to say 2014, I think, 2013 when they started. So, with each season, each Throwback Thursday of that season collection, they will have stuff from past collections. And this is one of them. Enough stalling, you know. Let's open it up. This is very pretty looking. You can see there. Which baby. And it's pink and blue. This one has a floral scent. Um, I should have written it down when I ordered because, of course, now it's not up on the website being a Throwback Thursday item. But um, they have the body butter, and the scent description is uh, it's the aroma that's draped behind your first crush as they pass you in the hall, sweet, floral, innocent, and utterly haunting your memory. So, uh, no idea what that means. <laughs> That sounds like a Yankee Candle sense, like the sixth level, where it's like such an abstract concept that you're just like, what, huh, how? Like, 
don't know. It's very floral, very sweet. So I do like it. It is real freaking big, though. So, yeah. Um, that's the collection I got of stuff this time. I got six bath bombs in total, four from the new collection, the charity bath bomb, and a throwback Thursday. So I'm going to try and get this all in one frame without dropping anything. So, yeah, six bath bombs. <laughs> Um, if you're wondering why I didn't get any, like, soap or body butters this time, I, I just didn't need any. I have so much soap right now that, um, I'm glad that now that they're doing their collections, they come up with four cents for each collection lately, and they'll do all of them as bath bombs, and then usually two of them you can get, like, body butter and soap from, and then one might just be, uh, a body scrub and another might be like a hand salve or a hand sanitizer because in the past they used to do it as like there would be three bath bombs and one soap and out of the four and there'd be you know mix and match um, at least when I started buying and then they changed that to like or they had changed that from when I first started buying where they'd have like six cents, but three of them would be bath bombs, and one would be this, and one would be that, and it was like, holy crap, there's a lot to buy from. So I'm just glad that they have everything as a bath bomb now, because that's most what I'm interested in. I've just got enough soap right now, though, and enough body butters that I need to get through them for each season and time, and then we'll worry about ordering it again. But we have six bath bombs here, and... uh yeah, they're going to be fun to use, and I can't wait to use them, so. Howdy, hey folks, Chase in the Tub here. Um, this is going to be a quick little haul. Um, I got packaged today from Lush, as you can see here. Um, and it was the two bath bombs that I ordered um, for Valentine's Day, plus another bath bomb I just saw. It was uh, I had an extra, whatever, 30 bucks laying around. I was like, eh, might as well, you know. But, yeah, so we're going to open this up. Take a look-see at the goodies inside. Now, I normally don't order stuff from Lush until uh, Halloween, Christmas, you know. Because um, I just got so much Lush I need to get through, honestly. But I think I've been starting to get through it, so maybe I might order more again in the future. But um, I just want to get a few of the Valentine's Day stuff and uh, see what else we had there. So the first thing we got up here, this is Lakes. Wow, that smells amazing. And if we click on Lakes here, we're going to take a look-see. Lakes, pastel green. Ah, ba 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 it's a fragrance. Hmm. Um, it's supposed to be very earthy. Floral, spicy, woody. It says uh, apricot-like note, warm, earthy base of myrrh and l l labdanum for sparkling amber scent. So, huh. Spicy floral ode to a love affair. So, yeah. That's like a... I definitely smell like an apricot. Like, there's a little bit of a sharp fruitness to it, but very earthy, so... Let me set that down here, and we'll move on. Take another look-see there. Yeah. Ugh. We have a bath bomb I ordered for a friend, so we'll set that down too. And then we have... Okay, that's cool looking. Which one's this? Um... This is Mr. Laba Laba or Loba Loba. I think it's supposed to be a lobster. As you can see, we have a lobster. Ooh, very sweet, very candy like. This is supposed to be um, Tonka Absolute. It smells like a sweet and cozy candy shop filled with fruity creations. So, huh. Very sweet. 
It's got like just this candy sweet scent to it. I like that a lot. I really do like that a lot. Ugh. And then we should only have one more item in here. This should be the other Valentine's Day bath bomb from Lush. This is Love Bug. You can see there, that looks like Herbie the Love Bug. Neat. Very citrusy. I do like that. If we're looking at the details, Sicilian lemon and organic sweet orange oils. Hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to smell like sherbet, it says. So, yeah, I definitely do. I do smell that in there. Sherbert, huh? Hmm. I like it. That's cool. And I don't think I have anything else in here, but let's double check. Packaging information, all that fun stuff. Nope, oh, we is Gucci. So, ugh! We got four bath bombs. Well, three technically. Let's see if I can not make a mess doing this. I'll stand up, maybe. There you go. All right, three bath bombs. Two specifically for Valentine's Day. And one for just because. So yeah, a little Lush haul there. Like I said, I don't normally order Lush for Valentine's Day, so I figured, what the hell, give it a try. See what they got this year. So yeah, um, obviously, I'm going to start uploading Valentine's Day videos soon. And uh, yeah, that'll be fun. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I've just been taking a little bit of a vacation from this, you know, um, not having to worry about uploading a video every day, but I might get back into the shape of things, um, back in the schedule, back into the work, so, yeah. So, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, look at my old videos, you'll enjoy them, so, yeah, thanks.